Welcome to the Power Platform Podcast with the Bearded 365 Guy, Ian Connolly, and the Mark Christie. This episode is sponsored by Scottish Summit. Visit scottishsummit.com to get your free tickets for the biggest free Microsoft community event with over 90 sessions in seven different tracks. It will be a day not to miss. Hello, hello. Hello. Sorry. Who this? Yeah, new podcast, new, well, not new podcast, new website, who this? <laughs> so us, we're back again, back once again like the Renegade Masters. D for Damage of the Ill Behaviour, is that that song? That is that song. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, Shady's back, back again, yep. one of the two. All the rest of them, all of that there, but yeah, we are back, back with a little bit of a... a change of Yeah. Well, I'm thinking it's just songs because I want you back for good. Yeah, that, this is exactly it. So we haven't actually changed. You can probably tell we still talk the same amount of nonsense and hopefully kind of brighten your days a little bit with some random gubbins. And that's generally what we're still going to do. It's what we did before. Introduce you to some new people, some people you don't know and get their stories. Or even if you do know them, get some more information on their stories. That's still the point of the podcast. But we... We have just changed back to our original location, which was powerplatformpodcast.com. So if you have us on your RSS feeds from before, those will stay the same. We've shifted them over. Um, it just allows us to do a little bit more and we can publish to our, our own time skills. Yep. So and kind of talking about publishing stuff, we are going to inundate your, your feeds and make your ears bleed over the next... Nine, well, it's not even 90. 80, well, we need to do it all within 80 days because we've got 85 days, I think it is, until the Scottish Summit 2020, which we're hosting in Glasgow this year. Uh, With over 90 speakers. Yeah, 90 speakers in the one day across the whole stack, which is the Power Platform, Big Data, Azure, Marketing. Personal skills, awful. Office 365, Teams, SharePoint, everything. I mean, anything that really business-wise you can touch, we have at least four or five sessions on it, at least. Finance and operations. We have speakers from all over Scotland. We've got, well, Scotland, UK, Europe, America. We've got somebody flying over from Australia as well to run a session. So. It has become, it's a beast. That's... Yeah, from us starting it as a one-day thing, it's turning into potentially a three-day thing with some different sessions being held in the days before, the hackathons on the Friday and maybe some other stuff happening on the Thursday that we'll release some more information on. Yep. But it's, it's massive, it's big, and we have over 550, near enough 600 people signed up to attend at the moment as well. So definitely tickets are going quite quick for that. And you can get them at the scottishsummit.com. You can reserve your ticket there. Yeah, we are at 80% of capacity already, which... So if you are sleeping on getting some tickets, I would get them quite quickly or you're going to have to go on a waiting list and run the risk of actually not not getting to all of those free sessions. As Ian said, we're kind of looking at some... Some sessions on the Thursday, which will be boot camp style sessions with some some MVPs that are looking to come over and do some sessions. On the Friday, we have quite a few hackathons that are being run by some of our sponsors, uh, Microsoft employees, MVPs coming to do them. And then obviously Saturday is the big day. There's a big ass pub quiz at the end of it that Scott Duro is not doing. It's Andy Bibby that's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why Scott, I think Scott's head just popped in at my head because of the video that he's done for us. That yeah, his video is pretty funny. Um, so yeah, Andy Bibby, uh, we've got a nice sequence jacket for him. He's going to look very, very handsome in that. And then we have the after party. Yes, some after parties. Oh, it's, it's, just, it's just mental. So we will be, it's going to be great. So so there are some speakers that maybe people haven't heard of. They're not in their social circles. So over the next wee while, we will be getting some speakers on and we're probably going to have them done daily and just have them 15 minutes introducing who they are, introducing their sessions, a bit like we've done before with the Bite Size 
podcasts. It's just 15 minutes about them coming on. Before, the bite-sized ones were about their blogs or their tools or their community stuff. This is just about their session. And it gives you an idea, if you can't get from their description, what they're coming to talk about. Yep, just a little feeder. It allows them to drill down into that because we know... Yeah, we know that like 200 words might not actually give a, a good example. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting, very, very busy times. So what else have you been up to then? If it's been, because it has been, what, two months, I think, since we last released one. It might have even been uh, more. Working just normal, obviously, that as well. But I've had a bit of a hectic personal situation in life going on and stuff like that like generally this year if i didn't have bad luck i've said this to many people if i didn't have bad luck this year i think i'd have had no luck but that's all good it's all sorted uh we went to dublin for the the yeah. power platform what was it? i want to call no. it 365 saturday but i know it's not called that anymore power yeah anywho we're Dublin, which was good, so done a little bit of a speaking session with yourself there, and uh, just run about mental. Had some good sessions, had some diff- met some new people, and just caught up with a lot of the community and the people I know in there, which was awesome. It was really good. But well, let's be honest, the, the only thing you care about from Dublin is you won the Lego Prize. <laughs> ben Vollmer has a picture of me of that, which I believe some people have seen, where I look like a two-year-old kid grinning with his Lego, and that's exactly how I felt. Like, thanks, Docs42, it was the best prize ever. I still have to build it. Uh, me and Jen are going to sit down and start building it, but we just got a puppy, so I don't want to break out all the little small little bits of Lego at the moment until <laughs> he's a wee bit older. That could be quite interesting, just... Um... Yeah, I basically just don't want to fight him for Lego because he's not getting it, it's mine. And at puppy age, his teeth are going to be sharp. They're going to be like blades. Oh, his milk teeth are crazy. They're like, I've, he's cut me a few times. Cut me deep. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was... So, that was actually a hectic weekend for me, that one, wasn't it? Or a hectic week because I was in... That was. You were mental that week. Like, you've been doing a lot going on, so give, give it your couple of minutes. Let's, let's see how busy you've been. <laughs> so, I was in Manchester on the Thursday for that. Um, doing a a session on customer service. I was then in Dublin when we done the joint session. I then flew out to Brussels to do a session on Power Virtual Agent, which they released the name change the day before I done that. So I had to go back and update like all of my slides to add the word power in front of it, just so that. I, I done it. That was interesting. Trying to do that on hotel Wi-Fi at three in the morning. So we got that done the next day in Brussels. Myself and Chris Huntingford held a unconference session where we just put some topics up on the screen and had a general chat. And that was you know that was actually really fun. Um, lots of opinions. Lots of people don't like licensing. Don't understand licensing. So we did briefly touch on that but it wasn't we what we were very conscious of is we didn't want to turn it into a bitching session because it could have easily yeah. gone that so that was quite good it's interesting to do that to hear the the commentary from everybody else and get that feedback because obviously a lot of sessions are good and a lot of sessions where you learn are really good but having that back and forth play is something that we know that we really really love and, and get a lot from it and it's, it's a good session to be able to do that as well yeah and i think that's something that we could we could take on the road um what else have i done i have been down i was at microsoft in reading at thames valley park doing a session for partners on behalf of microsoft for power virtual agent again which is my favorite tool at the moment i mean we've yeah. as a company at incremental we're about to release four or five awesome prototype videos for some stuff that we've done so that's um that's where i've been doing some voiceovers and things where it has been interesting <laughs> hi would you like to buy a virtual a virtual <laughs> power agent hi. i mean like if you can't even say it just now you know what it is you want to say i i would <laughs> love to see the outtakes of the videos or hear the outtakes of the videos but oh yeah. there are some belters um i actually think did i not post one of them in a group chat of Blair, oh, you did post Blair's, yes. I, I mean, you know what I'm like. I'll not post my own outtakes, but you'll have access to them through our podcast recording software. <laughs> <laughs> so it is there. You can, okay. find, you can find me effing and blinding a few times when I can't say certain words. But 
No, I, I think I might do that. And you never know, it might find its way snuck out somehow because there'll be some sort of WikiLeaks style leak of that data. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've done, I mean, I've been really busy with work. I've been on site three or four days a week doing a lot of customer demos. Um, and yeah, I mean, we've, in the background, I think, we've been doing a lot of stuff for releasing content, promo, marketing for Scotland, like about... Two hours ago, three hours ago, we released an awesome video of Misty, the IoT core robot that basically scans our website, recognizes the website, and reads out a blurb from it and invites you to an event. I mean, that's yeah, just awesome. Mental. That's awesome. It's one of the, it's probably the video I'm proudest of from the whole thing that, that we've done so far, but it just means we need to up our game a wee bit on that. But that's exactly yeah. what you'll see over the next. 80 odd days, just different bits and pieces coming out, different content. So we really, really hope you do engage with it and uh, contact us, get a look, come along to the event, reach out, speak to us, speak out to the community, etc. You know where we are. Yeah, if you, we will be looking for volunteers to help on the day, shepherd people in and out of rooms, help the speakers, make sure that the speakers have got their sessions all set up. Uh, make sure that the speakers have water. They're not going to overrun. We will allow the volunteers to have baseball bats to chase speakers out of the room if they overrun as well. <laughs> that, is a, that is a warning. Short card. Yeah. So on that note, exactly. Uh, if you're interested, events at scottishsummit.com would be the email to send us a little email and we can pass you on to our volunteers that we have for coordinating yep, the you- volunteers for the crew, etc. Yep, you can also find the event on Twitter at twitter.com slash Scottish Summit. Facebook events, if you just search for Scottish Summit, we have a Facebook event for it, so you can see that you're going. And we also have a LinkedIn event for it as well. I've, I was actually waiting. I know you've told me to shut up and let's get off the podcast, but I've been waiting for LinkedIn events to, to actually go live for about four months. Rather, because I wanted to create a page for it, but I didn't want to create like a company page and yeah. I knew this was coming out and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and then boom, there we go. So we now have, if you go to linkedin.com slash events slash Scottish Summit, you can say that you're attending and there will be some content only going on that page that won't appear on any other social media. Yeah, so you need to be there to see it. Yeah, so if you want to catch up with us individually, uh Bearded365 guy is him, and I am the Mark Crystal. Bye. Bye.